Uh, I think uh, what I'm worried about or what interests me is some, not techniques, but teachings that eventually might get lost. Because if you kept something and then I keep something and I don't teach my student all of it, and then you do the same, I die. And then they're, they're left with a little bit less and then they're going to do the same. You know, that uh, the, the heritage of like the technical heritage is, is something that really interests me. Um, kind of like leg locks or stuff that has been banned. Like uh, the Ashigar army, you read so many people have been injured from it in the past. I mean, it's one of the most dangerous of judo's techniques. It's in the Kinshiwaza for a reason. But, you know, call a guy, say, hey, do Ashigar army on me. You're not going to tap because they're not going to know how to do it. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's an angle where you enter, then you have your hips very deep. Um, I, I stumbled upon uh, like a very comprehensive guide of a of, uh, Katami no Kata, where he goes a little bit more into detail of Ashigarami. And then I would see why so many people could not pull it off. So that's what I'm worried about is that um, something that can really, you know, you know. Benefits, benefit us. Yeah. Judo capabilities on steroids basically be gone. You know, you're going to have to go through the the old cycle of, oh, I was doing this mistake that everyone does. And, you know, like that maybe after retirement, like if you go see the Inoue um, uh, box set, like there's, um, do you have it? Like the fighting films Inoue box set? Uh, fighting films? Yeah, yeah, I have fighting films. Mm -hmm. You watch the Inoue DVDs? No, no, I haven't watched it yet. You're gonna see he's gonna he's be uh, he's doing very very basic stuff as a white belt or orange belt like well, when I was when I was watching it I was like wow but now when you know you're I've been doing this for quite some times I've looked back on it and he's doing very basic now obviously the media and the tutorials back then uh, were revolutionary compared to now like now everyone can post a video and showing like hey here's how you do this mm -hmm. but uh, you can see that he's doing stuff like the, um, for example, you see the Japanese when they do a demonstration of Uchimata in a seminar, he's like doing Hanegoshi. Mm -hmm. But in competition, you see something completely different because the way they do it in competition, it's very hard to do in Uchikomi mm -hmm. or Nagekomi. So you see, uh, and the DVD is very basically like this, his takedowns when he's demonstrating them in the studio, that's all demonstration. Like, And then when they show the competition examples, it's completely different. So you're left out with a lot of details that they're not showing you because he's doing it in Nagekomi and Uchikomi form and not uh, competition form. So you have to look at the competition examples yourself, uh, rewind, play it very slowly, etc. cetera. So um, again, at the time it was very revolutionary. It was around 2009. Mm -hmm. But now you look back, it's, it's like he's showing you the basics of his game. He's not going to show you everything, even after he retired. Mm. Do, you think that, do you think this is more like of a Japanese thing? Because you know how like, uh, they're, they're more very, very, very secretive about certain things? Because judo is their sport. It's their creation. So they're very, and they're still very highly competitive. And you know, they're, they're like top of the food chain in the Olympics. So they're being very secretive about it. But then when you look at the American... his students, that's why he... I don't maybe it's, it's yeah it's possible yeah yeah we're, whereas the americans we're all about like selling everything we know <laughs> it's capitalism yeah exactly. um, like for example look at fanatics look at fanatic like uh, uh fabio basile he's still very much competitive he did this um tutorial where he showed everything he knows i mean it's found it a bit like but then, like, for example, Fabio Basile, um, he throws everything at you, like Kochigari, Ochigari, Uchimata. Uh, every, like, big throw you know he's going to throw at you. His Deashi Parai is brilliant. Mm -hmm. But, you know, in the, uh, in the DVD where he shows that, he says that, he talks specifically that, you know, in, in Nagekomi or Uchikomi form, you do it this. But in competition, you cannot do that. You do like this, this. And he's still very much competitive. So I would say, yeah, it probably is a Japanese thing. Yeah, yeah. Because also I think that, um, you know, there's no, there's no, I believe that there's no 
secret secrets left under the sun. You know, everything is out there and with, um, and also the body is made to move a certain way, you know, like biomechanics, arms, ligaments, uh, leverage points and all that. And I mean, for, so, so the Japanese, they, they feel like they, they still have something, they know stuff that maybe gives them a big edge. So they keep it to themselves. But then at the same time, I mean, we have, we have tape now and we could slow, we could slow motion everything. So we could still like look at what they're doing and uh, we can understand it, you know? So, and then the Americans, since we're more uh, about like making money at, uh, you know, not at all costs, but practically, you know, but so when they make a DVD, they want to uh, sh like, they can't just show like simple stuff. They have to show like, Hey, like, this is how you do it. It's not for free. Yeah. Yeah. It's not for free, but it's, but it's okay to pay for it too. You know, I, I feel it's not, it's not the end of the world. Like, because if you want, if you wanted to learn these so-called uh, secrets from, from, from Japan, right. You would have to literally go there, train with them. And then for a period of time before they really start, maybe take a like liking to you and trust you enough to actually like coach you. Uh, um, how do you say it? Seriously. So it would come up to the same thing because you would have to invest time to go there. You would have to invest money. You would have to invest there, a yeah. lot of resources. So why not just pay a uh, hundred, two hundred dollars to get the information directly from, um, you know, a, a certain judoka that you uh, you want to learn from. You know, like uh, if you want to learn from uh, uh, um, Fabio Basili, then just buy his DVD. Like just buy his stuff on Judo Fanatics. Done. Yeah.